Welcome to Coffee with Christian. My name is Christian Mael, and today we're talking about spiritual growth, how to grow spiritually. Now, it takes intentionality. We have to be intentional. I want to share five things that you might be lacking in your life, and, and now for every person might be different. You might not like all five things. You might like one of these things, but I believe that these five things it, uh, will uh, affect if you grow spiritually. So I want to make sure that you don't lack these five things. Number one, it's lack of commitment. I want to ask you, are you committed to grow in your relationship with Jesus? A lot of people tell me, Christian, I go to church every single week. I've been going to church for years and I'm not growing spiritually. Let me tell you something. Your pastor is not responsible for you to grow spiritually. That is your responsibility to grow. It is yours, not somebody else's, and we have to own it. I want to make sure that you don't have a lack of commitment when it comes to growing in your relationship with Jesus. I've been trying to commit to go to the gym at least three times because I want to be a be, be in better shape. I want to be in better health, and it takes commitment. I have to put it on my calendar. I have to put it on my schedule. Otherwise, it won't happen. Here are a few things that you can do to make sure you're not lacking that commitment. Commit to read the Bible daily. Commit to pray daily. When you're in church, when you're in small group, when you are with friends, make sure you're taking notes and that you're applying what those spiritual uh, people are helping you, your spiritual uh, mentors, your pastor, people in your small group. Make sure you're taking notes because that will help you. But go back to your notes and make sure you're applying that into your daily life because this is something that we have to be intentional every single day. Number two, it's lack of understanding. I think it does not matter if you've been a Christian for five days or you've been a Christian for 50 years. There is things in the Bible that we might still not understand. And we have to make sure that we're continue to learn and grow in our knowledge of God. And we do that through reading his word. You might be asking, but Christian, I, I don't know what to read. Like the Bible is so big, 66 books. Where do I start? Start with the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's the story of Jesus, and, and it's the story of our Savior. So I want to encourage you, if you don't have the habit to read the Bible, I want to encourage you to read the Bible every single day. At the bottom of this uh, video in the description, sorry, not the bottom, the description of this video, I'm going to leave you a link to my Bible reading plan. It's free. It's one chapter a day. Take less than five minutes. It takes me less than five minutes and English is my second language, so I know you can do it way quicker than me. But make sure that you are growing in your understanding of God. This is why a church community is important. This is why being part of a small group and make sure that we're becoming disciples. It's so important. Number three is lack of concentration. Now, I'm speaking to me right now because this device right here, it's a big distraction to me. And I know that in today's culture, we have way too many distractions. Everyone is fighting for your attention. Actually, I'm fighting for your attention. That's why you probably uh, click on this video because I'm trying to get your attention. Everyone is fighting for your attention. Netflix is fighting for attention. Social media is fight fighting for attention. YouTube, TV. Do you know that even books can be a distraction? Now, I say this because I read the Bible daily and I... There are more days that I caught myself trying to grow through, trying to go through my reading plan because I want to go to the book that I'm reading. So make sure that you eliminate those distractions. Put uh, timers on your phone up to be on social media or TV um, and make sure that you uh, stick to them. You know, I have a timer on social media, uh, one hour a day. Now, I'll be honest with you, 95% of the time, I just say ignore timer. Full confession in here. But eliminate your distractions. What is it in your life that is distracting you from growing in your relationship with Jesus? Lack of concentration will cost you a lot. Put a timer. Put a timer on how much time would you be spending with God. Put a timer on how much time you will be reading the Bible and praying. This will help you grow. Now, I, I don't want to limit it to that, but if you don't have the discipline, start with five minutes reading the Bible. Five minutes uh, 
praying in five minutes, journaling or meditating. Now, that's not a lot of time, but I believe that that will help you to uh, develop that discipline. One of the things that I've been doing in the gym uh, recently. So uh, I became a father recently and I haven't had a lot of time to go to the gym. CrossFit is what I love to do. But right now, making it to the CrossFit classes has been very difficult because I have to go to work. I have to pick up my daughter and it's been very hard. So I've been going to uh, a gym and I go in the treadmill and I walk. I walk for 30 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour. And what I do is like I watch YouTube or I listen to a book or I listen to a podcast. I'm trying to uh, do things at once, but it's helping me. I'm taking it step by step by steps and putting a, a limit on distractions it will help you grow in your relationship uh, with Jesus. Number four, and this is what is very important, is lack of godly community and support. You need people in your life. I love uh, my church at North Church. Uh, we say that we refuse to live life alone because the enemy, the devil, Satan, wants us to be alone. He wants you and me not to have godly community, not to have a community that support us. And he for sure doesn't want you to be in a community that is helping you grow spiritually, helping you grow in your relationship with Jesus. Make sure that you have other Christians around you that are speaking life, that are encouraging you, that are challenging you to grow in your spiritual life. You need a mentor in your life. Somebody that is further ahead than you in your relationship with God. Somebody that can uh, help you grow and uh, disciple you. It's important. We sometimes forget that Jesus called us to be disciples, that Jesus called us to make other disciples. And this doesn't happen uh, just by watching a video like this one. It takes intentionality. It takes you meeting with someone, being part of a small group, being part of, part of a Bible small group where you are intentionally growing in your relationship uh, with Jesus. Number five, it's a lack of accountability. Now, accountability, if I have to pick something that has helped me grow in the last three years the most, it has been accountability. It has been somebody who holds me accountable uh, to read the Bible, to pray every single day. I literally uh, text my friend Blake every single day when I'm done reading my Bible. Why I do this? It keeps me accountable. I know somebody is waiting on my text and it's holding me accountable that I read the Bible every single day because that is something I committed to do because I want to grow spiritually, not once a week or twice a week. I want to do this every single day. I need the word of God every single day in my life. Now with Blake, I confess my sins to him. Not too long ago, I was telling him how upset I was and how I took it way too far to the point that it was definitely sin. You know, if I'm struggling with anything in my personal life, I confess to him. Why do I do this? James says this in uh, James chapter 5, verse 16. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. When I confess my sins, the Bible says that I will experience healing. I'm not confessing my sins to him because I want to be safe. I confess that years ago and Jesus forgave me from all of my sins. But I'm confessing because there are areas of my life that the Lord is not... I have. There's areas of my life that I'm not allowing the Lord to have control. And when I'm confessing that, that's what I'm doing. It's like, I want the Lord to have control of my temper, control of my desires. And it's important that we do this. We need accountability in our life. We need somebody that we can go and confess our sins so that person can help us grow spiritually. Now, I'm not saying do this with anybody. You have to be very, very intentional. It actually took me 29 years to get to find somebody like Blake. But I believe that if you pray, the Lord will reveal you who that person is. I want to encourage you to find somebody. And I know the hesitation because I've been there. We've been burned. We've been, uh, we have confessed things to people that overshare. We have confessed things to people that broke our trust. Uh, 
But that's what the enemy wants you to do is to remember what people did so you don't open up. So uh, th so the Holy Spirit cannot do a work or finish the work that he already started. So I want to encourage you. If you've been burned, if you've been hurt, don't let that be the reason why you don't practice accountability. Now, I, I know that might be difficult, but it singly, it's, it's the thing that has helped me grow the most as of in the last three years, I want to encourage you uh, to find an accountability partner. So um, every single person's journey, it's totally different. You might not be lacking all five things. You might be lacking one or two, but let me know in the comments. I want to chat with you. If you have any questions, I want to chat with you because uh, we're in this journey together. You know, I always say uh, you have to follow Jesus for yourself. But you cannot follow Jesus by yourself. And I might not know who you are. And you might be living in the other side of the world. But I want to connect with you in the comments. Which one of these five things uh, are you lacking the most? You know, are you lacking all five of them? Let me know in the comments which ones are you lacking. Let me and ask me a question. I wanna, um, I wanna engage with you. Uh, make sure you're also following me on Instagram at. Christian Mael. It's a link in the description. Um, also, the free Bible reading plan, it's in the description as well. I have all kinds of tools that I've used, um, the Bible that I use, the journals that I use, uh, because I want to help you grow spiritually. I want to give you tips that, that actually work. Let me know in the comments if this video was helpful. Make sure before you leave that you like and subscribe. Also, Send this to somebody so you can encourage them and make sure that they don't lack these things and they continue to grow spiritually. I will see you next week.